Welcome everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the numerology and the energy for the year ahead for 2023. First, we're going to break down the numerology and the energy for the collective for 2023. And of course, remember, we are all a part of the collective. So we will in some way, shape or form feel uh, this energy and have to work with it in some way. So it is relevant. So I highly recommend listening to uh, the intro to the, the, that portion. Then we will break it down into each individual life path number, and we will take a look at the energies that that, um, that life path energy will be uh, working with. So again, if you're a life path one, you may have a different uh, cycle or um, an additional cycle that you're working through um, in addition to that of the collective. So if that makes sense. So we're going to break it down for the collective, and then we're going to break it down for each individual life path number for 2023. Before we get into the forecast, uh, this, of course, is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading, this is a great time for your year ahead forecast. Uh, We'll take a look at your own personal um, year ahead cycle, uh, your personal uh, year ahead cycle, as well as your numerology and the the transits and the cycles that you have coming up for 2023. And we will break that down to give you greater insight in what you could be personally be uh, potentially working with for the year ahead. Of course, it's always a great time for, uh, you know, to get your numerology report run to have a reading or a coaching session. So if you would like to work with me in any uh, of those capacities, book some time with me, I would love to, um, yeah, to take a look and to work with you in that way. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. (laughs) So I cannot believe I feel like I say this every year around this time, but I can't believe it's almost a new year. But here we are in the closing phases of this six universal cycle of 2022, about to embark on another new adventure as we navigate through the seven universal cycle of 2023. So I think 2023 is going to be sort of a mixed bag. And I say that because the energies of the seven are very nuanced, right? But they can be very polarizing as well and divisive when in a shadow or within their extremes. So we could say that, uh, you know, we could say that about all the energies really, but the seven can either use the sum of all of its parts to build a bridge, or it can burn that bridge down pretty quickly. So as always, it's what we choose to do with the energy that ultimately makes the difference. I say that all the time. Uh, But it'll be interesting to see how collectively we choose to work with this vibration. Because this is a really, this can be a very intense, uh, beautiful vibration to work with, but it certainly has its extremes, uh, again, just like with any energy, but the seven is unique. So basically the energy of the seven has two very distinct sides to itself, a very practical, pragmatic, logical, physical, investigative, like truth seeking, knowledgeable, and fact checking side, which can at times sort of lack trust in the unseen and within itself. It has this sort of energy of seeing is believing and uh, discounting everything else or, or, or not even entertaining anything outside of the seeing is believing belief system. This side of the seven is very much in the body, so to speak, and it can be very like hypercritical of itself and of others until it is able to prove its own point or find the quote unquote truth, right? And as we know, there are some truths that, you know, always sort of give the same result, but then there's also like personal truths and there's truths that, um, you know, that are based on belief systems, which are constantly changing. So you can see how that extreme could lead to um, sort of clinging to an illusion that is not 
real. (laughs) So then the other side of the seven energy is very much the opposite. It is very ethereal. It's head in the clouds, very spiritual, very psychic. Seven energy is um, the most psychic energy in numerology. Now, uh, I would say we all have that, you know, we all have that, those abilities, right? But the seven is almost just sort of already tapped into that it's just what they choose to do with that energy right or that that gift so anyway it's a very psychic very sort of playing in the realms of the unseen seeing beyond the illusions and the limitations of the 3d reality and embracing the more sort of intuitive heart focused side of life so where the more physical brain powered side of the seven is much more grounded this other side of the seven prefers its wings over shoes and is very much driven by feeling and inner knowing. So both sides of the seven are very much needed and are beautiful in their own ways, right? However, one side without the other causes division, causes lack of trust, causes rigidity or aloofness, over attachment or over detachment. So too many roots or too big of wings and no roots. The vibration of the seven is off balance when it isn't bridging these two very important sides of itself and finding its own balance between the two. So you could look at the vibration of the seven as the ultimate when it comes to the union or the merging of the masculine physical energy and the more ethereal spiritual feminine energy. And again, when I speak, I'm going to be talking about feminine and masculine energy as we move through this forecast. And I'm not talking about gender. So I just want to get that out of the way. Um, I know, I know if you listen to my channel that, you know, the masculine, we, we all have masculine feminine energies from within. Um, there are masculine feminine energies within everything. And so that's what I'm speaking to. I'm speaking to the energy when I, when I talk about that. So just as a uh, precursor. (laughs) Uh, Okay, so the seven is the bridge or is meant to be the bridge that balances balances these vibrations, right? So when that bridge is missing, we see imbalance, we see divisiveness, we see extremes of these energies. So one more dominant than the other and sort of out of control. So on a high level, We can view 2023 as a pivotal year when it comes to the collective balancing of the masculine and the feminine energies. 2023 has the potential to be the bridge or the building of that bridge um, sort of commencing, right? And so we can see if we look at the current state of things and the state of things over the last thousands of years, it's definitely been more uh, masculine energy dominated, right, to an extreme. And so the last few years, especially, we see this rising of the divine feminine energy. There's a long ways for that energy to go to meet the masculine. And really, it's this energy or this sort of balancing act where the masculine energy needs to um, uh, be brought down a little bit, right, as the feminine rises. And so again, 2023 has the potentiality to be uh, sort of, again, the commencing of building that bridge of, of allowing and supporting that feminine energy collectively to rise. uh, And um, yeah, and, and sort of balancing out that more masculine energy. We'll see, right? Because it's always, again, what uh, sort of the collective consciousness, which is humans and, you know, the living beings, right? Like what we choose to do with this energy. And really, I'm looking at you humans, uh, at us. (laughs) I'm human also. (laughs) And so, uh, but yeah, so as with anything, we rarely see sort of true progress or solutions without there first being some kind of like breaking point where things have to get worse before they get better. Um, And again, you know, it's like, if there's too much light, there needs to be some darkness. If there's too much darkness, the light comes in. And so it's like, again, it's like this balancing, but in order to do that balancing to find that happy medium, there has to be some level of chaos. That's just sort of the way it works, right? There has to be that, like that boiling point, that breaking point uh, to realize where it is that adjustments need to be made. 
So we have definitely seen this over the last few years. And I think 2023 will sort of be a continuation of that chaos. But I also think 2023 has the potential with this energy to bring to light hidden truths and monumental solutions that we haven't seen before and that help to shift the collective consciousness, um, sort of moving us closer towards that merging of the masculine and feminine energies, right? And so we will continue more than likely to see the feminine energies continue to rise under this seven energy to meet those masculine energies. So I think we uh, have the potential to make great strides in that direction, right? Of that balancing. I think that this is, this is a potentially a year for awareness, for understanding again, where it is specifically that we really need to start making some major adjustments and, uh, and what that looks like, and then coming up with those solutions. And so again, I don't think that everything's going to come to fruition. I don't think much is going to come to fruition under, under this energy, but it's the, the commencing of building that bridge, the, the building the container to support the feminine energy to rise, to meet the masculine and to merge. So generally speaking, we could see a greater focus on health and well-being, advancements in medicine and cures for hard to treat illnesses. Because seven energy is also, again, it's very physical. It can be very physical. It can be very in the body. And so focus comes to the body and holistic health. Um, and this of course would allow for greater longevity and greater quality of life. Holistic health can become even more of a focus, including a greater emphasis on how to manage emotions emotions in a healthy, constructive way, and how to harness all of that powerful energy and channel it into something useful. So emotions are typically thought of as um, very feminine energy. How we express those emotions is very mas- can be very masculine, right? Because it's action, right? So there can be with the under the seven energy, a more focus on emotions and how we use those emotions and how we express them and all of those things, right? Like more of an emphasis on this Um, because we have been sort of conditioned to suppress that charged energy, which as we know, it will eventually find its way out in very unpredictable ways. So that can of course be very uh, destructive. So there could be more of a focus this year on tools and resources to help all humans um, sort of find their own best way to express that energy in a positive, constructive way. Also with this seven energy, we could see a lot of truth coming to the surface unexpectedly. So secrets being revealed, information that can be sort of that can't be ignored anymore, uh, that has the potential to create major shifts in perception and understanding as well as shifts in action and outcomes. So seven isn't energy that sits back and sort of like accepts the status quo at face value without doing a bit of its own digging beyond the surface layer. So if you tell a seven that the sky is blue, they want to know why right? It's like they're, they may believe that, but they, because they can see it, but they want to know why they want to know the sort of intricacies. They want to know the, the hidden details. Um, so we could see this kind of sort of collective investigative work take place this year where more and more people sort of refuse to just believe whatever they're told by people in quote unquote roles of authority. So does someone or an entity know what's best for you? Maybe, Maybe not, but the seven will do the work to understand as much as possible before they commit to whatever they're being told to commit to. So this energy sort of encourages us to think for ourselves under every circumstance. Now that can be, that can be, you know, you can take that to the extreme, obviously. Um, But it definitely, this energy promotes that thinking for yourself, um, doing the work yourself, coming to your own conclusions based on the information uh, presented to you, as well as your own inner knowing. The nature of the seven 
is to be highly sensitive and spiritual, psychic and intuitive. So it's very, very possible uh, that this year we could see, um, like this could be a great year for all things metaphysical to finally come on stage and to take a bow, right? We could see things such as astrology, numerology, uh, psychics and mediums and other metaphysical sciences and divination tools find its rightful seat at the table, sort of garnering much needed and deserved respect, or at least we may get sort of uh, an, an invite to the party, right? Even if our seat still isn't reserved just yet. Uh, we may not get the public recognition and approval that we deserve just yet, but we could definitely see an uptick in people becoming more sort of drawn to this side of themselves and recognizing the value in not only these services from others, but in growing their own personal gifts in a much deeper way. So we could also see sort of some religions that are more controlling and more sort of prescriptive or, um, yeah, just more like punitive in nature come under fire under this energy for perhaps unethical behavior or corrupt behaviors. So that may come into the spotlight this year, because remember the seven energy is the truth seeker. It's the one who's going to dig deeper and sort of excavate anything hidden to bring it to the surface to be reviewed. Um, and that doesn't just have to be religions. I, I mentioned re, uh, sort of like traditional religions, even spirituality, there's corruption, there's, there's all of these things in, in anything where humans have their hands in it, right? Like anywhere that, that the ego is involved, there is corruption, right? And so it, you know, and I, and, but there's really this sort of more like uh, spiritual, religious sort of, again, psychic, intuitive nature to the seven that's more like a theo you know, um, philosophical and that sort of thing. So it's really, I think, going to be an emphasis on those areas this year, bringing things to light and bringing to the forefront these, um, these tools, these, um, yeah, just these, these, the more metaphysical side of things, uh, bringing t it to the spotlight, giving us a seat at the table that is much deserved and is, um, yeah, has been a long time coming. And we can already sort of see this happening. I was watching, or I, f I follow uh, Molly McCord, who is an astrologer, I'm sure most of you, if not all of you are very familiar with her. Um, and she recently, I can't remember the event that she was at, but it was with all of these speakers who, um, you know, are like authors and like are um, like, you know, healers and, and spiritual teachers and spiritual gurus and all these things, right? Um, and she was invited to that event and spoke about astrology. And I was so impressed by that. Um, I mean, Molly is impressive on her own, but, but I was so impressed by that because that's what I'm talking about when I say it's like astrology, numerology, like psychics and mediums coming to um, the table, right? And being uh, an active participant in these sort of mainstream events that normally we wouldn't get an invite to necessarily, right? We don't necessarily see that. And so I was really excited to see that. And uh, I hope that that's sort of uh, an indicator of what's to come because yeah, I could go on and on. But anyway, so I do think under this seven energy, we're going to see more and more of that come to light. And I also think that, again, more and more people will start to uh, sort of investigate and um, explore that side of themselves. So at the core of this universal vibration, the energy will be working towards bridging the seen with the unseen, the physical with the metaphysical, the heart and the brain, the masculine energy with the feminine energy. So this won't all happen this year, right? Little by little, uh, things will be sort of finalized. Like, you know what I mean? They'll come to fruition will be, you know, solutions will be found. Um, but I don't think that we're going to see that necessarily happen this year. This is the, this is like the jumping off point. I think this is the, the, the time for the exploration, uh, and the planning, right? Um, there is the potential for many seeds to be planted this year. Uh, and those seeds will be ready to harvest in the coming years. So this is like the preparation phase. This is where we start to get the insights and the downloads and all of that, and then start to plan. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at your individual life path number now to see what you're working with for 2023. 
Life path number three. So I pulled an animal spirit message for you all for 2023 and you've got emu energy. And so this is, this is beautiful energy. This actually really, uh, aligns so nicely with the energies that you all are working with for 2023, which I'll talk about in a moment, or the numerology, which I'll talk about in a moment. But with emu, what's kind of coming through with this energy is that of like curiosity, um, strategy, and endurance. And what's so funny about that is because you think about like the emu and like they can run really fast, but they can also pace themselves uh, so that they can sort of uh, go long distances, right? And so there is a strategy to it as well, right? And like reserving their energy, but also uh, having that endurance and that resiliency to get to the goal, to not burn up all their their kindling or their energy um, with a big burst, right? Uh, so there's definitely something here and also the curiosity, right? Like being curious, like, and going beyond your comfort zone to, to check things out, to see, does this resonate for me? Does this have any value for me? Is there anything here that I can work with? And if there is, what, what can I do with it? Right? So there's like this level of like curiosity, almost like childlike curiosity, um, if there's something that intrigues you this year, or again, piques your curiosity, then you are really encouraged to um, spend some time with it, go after it, you know, look into it and see if, if it does hold value for you. Why this is so interesting that Emu came through, I'm not really surprised because it's, it's, it's coming, it's, <laughs> it's been like that, you know, for, for the, for the other numbers as well. Um, and I love it when there's that synchronicity uh, and that, that synergy. But anyway, um, with Emu, what's so beautiful about this is you all are working with one energy in 2023. You're also working, of course, with the collective energy of the seven. But for the threes, you all are working with, in addition to that, the energy of the one. And so this is a very curious energy. This is very much about exploring things, playing outside your comfort zone, um, getting messy, getting dirty, just seeing how things, you know, like just taking risks and trying something new and seeing how they land. And if they don't land well, then picking yourself up, moving on, right. And trying something different. It's a very like, um, yeah, sort of taking a risk, you know, uh, if it doesn't work, not beating yourself up, but moving on to the next thing, taking another risk, not letting a perceived failure, sort of deter you from continuing to play and explore. Um, so you all having this one energy, there's the potential in 2023 for big new starts, for big new ventures and opportunities coming through for you all that are going to feel outside of your comfort zone, that are going to feel bigger than you, that um, you may need to be the one who creates the solutions for. Uh, if someone presents you with a problem, it might be up to you to come up with a solution that hasn't been been discovered yet, or that hasn't been, um, yeah, considered, right? So this is a very leadership energy that you all are working with. What's beautiful about this is three is typically, um, you know, with their life path, with this being your life path energy, you, you're sort of meant to step into your creativity, into your life force, uh, energy of creation, in this lifetime. And so this one energy is really helping you do that in a big way. It's helping you to, again, step outside the comfort zone, step into your big energy. Three energy is big energy. So it's stepping into that. It's not being afraid to take risks, um, or be curious or, um, explore and then come up with a strategy that's going to give you that that resiliency and that endurance to see it through to the end right you may not get the instant gratification or the instant um success right but you know that it the the beauty lies in the process right in 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 getting in the journey to get to the destination right and probably the destination will change somewhat by the time you get there but there's beauty in that process. So this one energy, again, brings with it a tremendous amount of uh, initiation, um, going after what you want. It's sort of like Mars energy in a way where it's like, uh, you see it, you want it, and you're going to find a way to get it, right? Uh, without manipulating or controlling or whatever. But where it's like, again, you can come up with a strategy to do so. So it's a very in uh, ingenious sort of energy to work with, which again, complements three energy beautifully because threes are typically 
in some way or another very creative uh, or have that gift within them to uh, really explore in this lifetime and do big things with it. And so this one energy helps you to do that and to find the confidence to do that, right? So definitely be curious this year, find, uh, find the things that ignite your passion. And I say, find them, they'll find you realistically speaking, you're going to have opportunities that present themselves to you this year. Uh, again, that are probably going to feel like you're taking a risk. Like you don't know what the outcome is going to be, that it feels bigger than you. Uh, it makes you feel uncomfortable, not in a bad way, but uncomfortable. Like I'm not worthy. I'm not ready. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and that is your indicator to go for it. <laughs> this is going to be the year for you all to take those risks, to to explore, to um, you're basically this year the bridge builder, right? When we talked about the seven energy and the bridge between those big ideas and turning them into something really tangible, that is going to be you this year. That is going to be your energy that you're working with this year with your three life path energy and then this one energy uh, that's coming through for threes. So this is going to be a year to take, take advantage of that. Now, again, of course, like I said in the intro, it dep- you also have your own personal uh, year that you're working with, right? And so that your own cycle. And so it may be that there's some other components that you need to be aware of um, that are kind of saying like, don't, don't take the big risk. So it's very possible, right? You might have other energies that are saying, find your balance between the two. For some of you, you might be also working with a one personal cycle. So that's just like, you know, extra fire to get, to go, to go for it. So again, I would also recommend, of course, getting your own personal year ahead forecast run. But with these energies collectively, this is some very powerful energy that you all are working with um, and has the potential to set you all up for uh, success, right? And whatever it is that you're trying to achieve, whatever it is that you're trying to work for, there is again, like this endurance piece to it, where again, like there probably will not be that instant gratification. There may be though, sometimes with one energy, it's like the, the spark comes in, the fire gets ignited, you have the epiphany, you have the, the brilliant idea, you implement it and you see the results. It's very possible with one energy also, but there's also with, with email coming through with the endurance, um, I would also say just pace yourself, right? So beautiful, powerful energy threes. I hope that this is a very successful year for you all. And I do think that it's going to be setting you up for that, right? Like whether you actually see that come to fruition this year, you may not. Um, But again, this is like the year to start building that bridge. This is the commencement, right? Like the beginning of that, the 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 uh, conception, right? And so uh, it may take some time for things to germinate and then sort of hatch, but uh, very very beautiful energy that you're working with. Very powerful, very um, right up your alley, basically. So this would be the year if you want to start a business, if you want to launch something really, really big, if you want to get your name out there in a big way. Um, Again, this is an opportunity to really step into your big three uh, social sort of energy. So, and that one energy is going to help you to do that. So I hope it's a powerful year for you all. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.